Normani has always seemed to be one of the most promising members of Fifth Harmony, and fans were pushing for her to go solo even when the group still had five members. When Fifth Harmony officially broke up in 2018, Normani finally embarked on a solo career. The early days of her post-Fifth Harmony career were marked with the resurfacing of many racially motivated comments Camila Cabello had made about her, primarily online. Normani admitted she was hurt and betrayed by the comments, and all but confirmed speculations that tensions between her and Camila existed even while they were both still part of Fifth Harmony. Normani said she was often made to feel like an outcast in the group and it negatively affected her self-confidence. She also said that when the post did resurface, it took Camila a while to apologize for her actions and she seemed more concerned with the feelings of her fans than Normani's own feelings. Though not everyone sided with Normani, she was praised for being a young black woman standing up for herself and took on the role as a face for the fight against colorism. Many of Normani's supporters wanted to see a dark-skinned black woman triumph over a group and an industry that appeared to give lighter-skinned women better treatment and unfair advantages. People rooted for Normani because they wanted to see a talented young black woman succeed and be pushed to the forefront of pop. Normani was hailed as a disruption to the wave of light-skinned singers who were overtaking the pop and R&B genres at this time. She even earned endorsements from Nicki Minaj, Rihanna, Janet Jackson, and Beyonce. And Tiff, don't be coming for Fifth Harmony because Normani is that bitch. <laughs> also, quick note, I will not be talking further about the whole Chloe Bailey or Normani being the next Beyonce situation. Normani is Normani. Normani tried to forge her way as a pop soloist by teaming up with other successful artists at the time. She collaborated with artists like Sam Smith, Khalid, and Black. Normani's single with Khalid, Love Lies, was a top 40 hit and another promising reminder that Normani could do more than upbeat top 40 pop. The song peaked at number 9 on the Billboard Hot 100. Her collaboration with Sam Smith, Dancing with a Stranger, peaked at number 3 in the UK and number 7 in the US. Hype for Normani's solo career only grew. She had been co-signed by some of the biggest names in pop and R&B, and had also been named Spotify's top female breakout artist in 2018. It seemed only logical for Normani and her team to capitalize off of this excitement and release her debut album while she was still a hot topic. Normani tweeted that she had decided the title of her debut record, only further increasing the hype, and she said that the album would come in the beginning of 2019. Fans were excited to hear the news, though the album never came to fruition. Normani spent the early part of 2019 instead touring with Ariana Grande on her Sweetener tour. 2019, however, did bring us Normani's hit single, Motivation. Motivation was a summer smash. Fans were excited to see Normani put her singing and dancing skills to use. The song was one of the first we got out of the Y2K nostalgia era, and the styling for the music video and her performances reflected that. The song is cute and catchy, but it was mostly Normani's live performances that showcased her stage presence and dancing abilities that sold fans. With motivation, Normani proved again that she had the ability to be a solo entertainer. It seemed logical Normani's label would seize the previously missed opportunity and capitalize on motivation's success by releasing her album. Three years later, Normani's debut album still hasn't come. In the meantime, Normani continued to release collaborations with other artists, but none of them saw success on the charts like her collaborations with Sam Smith and Khalid. She released a song with Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj for the Charlie's Angels soundtrack, and the single was received about as well as the movie, which wasn't good at all. Normani also released Diamonds with Megan Thee Stallion at the beginning of 2020. The collaboration was to promote Birds of Prey and was meant to be a confident female empowerment anthem. Diamonds was inspired by Marilyn Monroe's Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. Though Normani's chorus was referred to as corny by some critics, she was also praised for the confidence and charisma with which she delivered the lyrics. Sadly, the song was mostly overlooked and is just a blip in the careers of both Megan and Normani. When asked about her album, Normani claimed that she wanted it to be an opportunity for the public to get to know her as a solo artist outside of Fifth Harmony. She wanted the album to show fans who she was as a person and that despite having been famous for the past few years, she was still human. She also revealed that she was involved in every aspect of the making of her album. She told Billboard, There are so many hats I have to wear. There's nothing that I'm not involved with because I like to be so hands-on and I'm very specific. There's no one that knows or cares as much about your craft as you. You gotta have an amazing support team around you, but as much or as bad as you want something, nobody's ever gonna want that for you as much as you do. While working on her album during the pandemic, Normani found out that her mother was diagnosed with cancer and she was unfortunately unable to fly home to be with her. Working on the album was therapeutic and helped her work through the bad news. 
Still, rumors from fans circulated, speculating why Normani's album still had not been released almost two years after it had been announced. Some fans speculated Normani's label wasn't thrilled with the numbers she was doing lately and was urging her to adjust her music to appeal to wider audiences. Though motivation was a hit, Normani's recent collaborations hadn't done so well. This could have potentially prompted Normani's label to halt the release of her debut album in order to have time to regroup. The anticipation for Normani's album quickly turned into impatience. Real quick, Normani, before I let you go, what do you want to tell the fans out there who, and I know you hear it and see it, who are asking, where is the album, where is the album? What do you want to tell them? I want to tell you that summer is going to be lit. Get out. Yes, the okay. summer is going to be lit. So are you ready? Are you gearing up? Are you in rehearsals? Are you doing oh, it all? Shoot, we're doing everything. Okay. We're doing it all. I'm you know. ready to perform. I miss performing. We, we you miss know. You no. You've been putting out the hit, so I'm excited to see the whole debut. Thank I you. Am. Normani became the subject of memes and other internet posts about her not having a debut album, despite having teased it for years. A lot of the blame placed on Normani's record label wasn't unfounded. Normani signed to RCA Records, a label that has a reputation for sabotaging its artists and putting them in unfair contracts. She signed to RCA in 2018, soon after her split from Fifth Harmony. Both RCA and Normani appeared eager to put out new music and to take advantage of the buzz surrounding which direction Normani's solo career would take. However, her album wouldn't come quickly, though it wasn't completely for lack of effort on Normani's part. Normani's repeatedly delayed debut album was similar to that of her former label mate Tinashe, who after a successful debut album struggled to release subsequent albums. The source of the conflict appeared to be creative differences and RCA wanting Tinashe to have a more conventional and marketable brand. Tinashe accused the label of suppressing her artistic expression. She also said RCA forced her to record a song, though she was adamantly against its lyrics, and forced her to change the images on her debut album cover. Tinashe neither confirmed nor denied when fans said her label was holding her back by not promoting her singles and not allowing her to express herself as an artist. Instead, she was stuck releasing EPs, singles, and collaborations, continuously scrapping arrows and switching sounds. Though she released music relatively frequently, the label didn't promote it much, making the gaps between releases feel prolonged. Her second album performed so terribly, RCA didn't even count it as an album. Shortly after the release of her third album, Tinashe left RCA Records in 2019. As an independent artist, Tinashe was finally able to release more of her work and has since released two successful albums. Normani again showcased her dancing skills in two collaborations with Cardi B. Normani had a dance cameo in the WAP video, and she and Cardi rejoined for Normani's song Wildside. Interestingly, Normani claimed she funded the music video for Wildside with her own money. The music video contained intricate choreography with backup dancers, and the song's production showed a clear 90s Y2K influence. The choreography-centered video was reminiscent of performers of earlier eras of R&B. The song sampled Aaliyah's hit One in a Million, further solidifying its ties to the eras of past. Normani's live performances of the song were well-received, and her fans praised them on social media. Her 2021 VMA performance with Tiana Taylor set Twitter on fire. It was steamy and seductive, and the costuming and set design was heavily influenced by her R&B predecessors. Though the performances were visually appealing, fans were divided over the song itself. Many felt like neither the Aaliyah sample nor the Cardi feature were needed, and others felt that the song was boring. Though the song inspired TikTok dance challenges, it wasn't an earth-shattering hit by any means. It only debuted at number 14 on the Billboard Hot 100. The song eventually did become Normani's first number one hit on the R&B charts, but it was hardly a celebration because the song fell from that spot quickly. The song had also fallen on the charts previously when it was removed from Apple Music, suspiciously after Normani had announced that she'd funded the video herself. Wildside's lukewarm success could also be chalked up to Normani's lack of a solid fan base. Though Normani does have a lot of supporters, she's yet to gain the dedicated fan base of bigger pop acts like Ariana Grande or Justin Bieber. As much as people love Normani and want to see her win, most of her fans are casual fans who aren't inclined to stream her music repeatedly in the way stands of other artists would. This isn't because of a lack of talent on Normani's part, but more likely due to her not having a full body of work out yet, or having gone on her own tours, or done many other regular performances. Normani also struggles from not having a distinct sound. Though it's obvious she intended to lean into the 90s 2000s sound for a lot of her songs, her music is still rather generic. There's no Normani sound yet, or anything that makes her music stand out. The lyrics aren't particularly deep or memorable, and the production on the songs isn't anything unique either. Though Normani has both the vocal and dance skills to be a successful entertainer, most of her music is yet to match. 
This issue though, I think will be fixed once Normani releases her debut album because she's been extremely vocal about the fact that she's making a unique, intimate body of work for her album. Since it's an album rather than a bunch of singles, she'll probably also give us a more cohesive sound. Despite not releasing much music, Normani has managed to keep herself in the public eye. She frequently attends events and red carpets, and she's the first choice when it comes to dance cameos, brand deals, and modeling. But Normani's prevalence in the public eye ignored the elephant in the room. Normani was present, but where was her album? Normani maintained that she was taking time on her album because she would only have one chance to release a debut record. Therefore, she would take her time on each song, making sure it was exactly how she intended it to be. Normani said she wanted her first album to not only be a representation of herself, but a body of work that would change others' lives. That sort of album, of course, was not a work that could be rushed. In the summer of 2021, Normani began to drop more hints as to the content of her album. She said the album would be a reintroduction of herself and a display of her self-awareness and regained confidence. The album would be 14 songs long, and Wildside would be included on the album. That December, Normani confirmed on The Ellen DeGeneres Show that her debut album was almost complete. She also opened up about wanting to forge her own identity outside of Fifth Harmony. In Fifth Harmony, she'd somewhat been able to hide amongst the other four girls in the group, but as a soloist, Normani would have to stand on her own at all times. She felt vulnerable putting her art into the world to be criticized and picked apart. In late March of 2022, Normani released Fair, another single off of her upcoming album. The single boasted the R&B soul sounds that fans had hoped for. Normani said the song represented a more vulnerable side of herself that fans hadn't seen yet, and that will be present throughout the record. It was rare that Normani got emotional or personal in her music, and she stated she would lean more into the side of herself on her album. Still, she promised fans could expect a decent amount of upbeat pop songs too. Normani announced in April that she's finishing her debut album, and hopefully she means it this time. She's been putting a lot of work into making the album personal, saying, My lyrics have more depth, and they're more intentional and come from a more authentic place, because I now feel more connected to myself than before. It does seem that Normani's claims that her album is coming soon can be taken very seriously this time. She's done multiple interviews in March and April with the sole purpose of increasing anticipation for her debut album. Her album has gone from a sore spot she was asked about in interviews to the topic of conversation. I don't think we'll ever 100% know the truth as to why Normani's album took so long to come out. It's most likely a combination of things from her label, the low performance of some of her singles, and most importantly, Normani taking her time. We're so used to the music industry moving quickly and artists releasing new music every couple of months, but a true authentic body of work that an artist puts their heart and soul into takes a lot of time. People don't make albums anymore. They don't make albums. They just try to sell a bunch of little quick singles and they burn out and they put out a new one and they burn out and they put out a new one. People don't even listen to a body of work anymore. Artists who wait years in between albums are often subject to being rushed by fans, whether they're Kendrick Lamar or Lord. It takes much longer to construct an actual album than it does to record generic singles, so Normani should definitely be allowed to work at her own pace. I do, however, genuinely believe that Normani is also getting the Tanache treatment from RCA, and that has to be delaying things too, no matter how hard she's working on this album. Normani has admitted to feeling pressure to represent black girls with her music since there are so few black girls who look like her at her level of prominence in the music industry. Normani said she felt that she and SZA were the only prevalent pop artists dark-skinned black girls could see themselves in. Because of this, she feels partly obligated to create music young black girls could relate to and feel empowered by, as they unfortunately weren't able to find that in many other artists. This pressure even further explains Normani's desire to take her time on her album and make sure each of her songs is intentional and meaningful. Hopefully, this summer brings us Normani's new album and she gives us not only enjoyable music, but a glimpse into what we can expect from her as an entertainer. She does have the potential to be a big pop act, especially since she's an all-around talent. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think we're really getting a Normani album in 2022? And if so, what sort of songs are you hoping for? More pop, more R&B, more of a mix? Let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.